Earlier this season, I evaluated CF Moto's 50 inch wide Gen 2 Z Force 800 trail. I was impressed with this machine, but more so with the massive leaps forward CF Moto appears to have taken in its production quality. Now, as much fun and as practical as a 50 inch wide side by side is, the 60 inch wide sport category is what really makes my tummy tickle. And that's why I elbowed my way into the driver's seat to make sure I got to evaluate the overhauled Z Force 950 Sport. The 60 inch wide Pure Sport category is actually pretty competitive, with models from Can Am and Polaris typically hogging the spotlight. Here's the thing though, CF Moto's packed a ton of value into its sport offering, and the price difference is staggering. At literally thousands less than a Razor Trail S900 Sport, packed with more options and more horsepower, the Z Force 950 Sport is definitely worth a closer look. Similar to the Trail, the Sport comes standard with a roof featuring a drip edge, and these beautifully crafted doors that are finished on the inside open and close easily and are rubber sealed to keep out trail muck. There's also mirrors, a 3,500 pound winch, and the cab features comfortable seats, tilt steering, and CF Moto's gorgeous and easy to read instrumentation. You already know I'm a fan of this display, and it should be motivating other manufacturers to step up their game. In this Gen 2 chassis, CF Moto's also paid particularly close attention to improving accessibility to service. Both seats remove quickly and easily to provide access to the battery, ECU, and air filter. And with a few half-turn fasteners in the center console, you can gain access to the engine for service to the plugs and drive belt. Further to the creature comforts, this model also features this super cool blue accent lighting that runs the entire width of the dash. It doesn't serve any other purpose than to just look rad and I dig it. There's also loads of storage with two dash mounted deep well storage compartments. And this model also features the most practical use of a rear rack I think I've ever seen with this fully enclosed high capacity storage compartment. This lid is also rubber sealed and these latches snap firmly into place to keep whatever you pack in there dry and secure. The rear storage bin can also be easily removed if you prefer to use the traditional open bed for hauling your gear. Powering this beast is an 85 horsepower 963cc V-twin. Why not call it a 1000? We feel that the perception of a 1000 is that it should be more than 100 horsepower, and we think CF Moto is probably working on a twin with a bit more output that would hit this mark. With available normal and sport modes, I rode in sport for the majority of my testing to unleash the full potential of this machine. Power delivery comes on strong at the first press of the accelerator and continues to build through mid-range, feeling almost limitless at top end. On our closed course straightaway, I got this thing going 124 kilometers an hour. That's 77 miles an hour. That's quick. And I feel like a skinnier man going downhill with the wind at his back could probably squeeze a bit more out of this machine. Nevertheless, this engine feels right at home in this chassis and didn't leave me feeling disappointed. Plus, the CV Tech clutching is as smooth as wiping your butt with satin toilet paper. 60 inches wide is really the sweet spot for a sport side-by-side. -side. Ripping through winding trails with your foot mashed to the mat, the Z4 stays so planted in the corners, you can feel your confidence surging with every turn as you find your rhythm. And the progressive quick ratio variable EPS makes handling light and nimble while reducing feedback from rock hits up through the steering wheel. An all new high performance suspension setup aids in delivering the smoothest ride over the roughest terrain. Featuring arch double A arms up front delivering 12.1 inches of travel and an all new high performance rear suspension delivering 12.5 inches of travel. For more information on this suspension, check out Luke's walk-around video on our YouTube channel. Smoothing out the bumps at all four corners is a set of aluminum body CF Moto branded piggyback shocks with three position compression clickers and threaded preload adjustability. These shocks took me a minute to figure out as the clickers have a ton of throw in the thread before seating into each click position. They're calibrated way too soft to begin with, and the range of adjustment between full soft and full hard is not as noticeable compared to a Fox QS3 shock. I feel like they'd benefit from a more intuitive dial knob and a bit more calibration to make them optimal. Gripping the ground at all four corners is a set of 27 inch CST stag tires wrapped around nice looking 14 inch aluminum wheels, which really add to this unit's showroom sizzle. I'm not the biggest fan of these tires and I feel like something with a more aggressive tread pattern would help deliver more traction. Although I do like to get the back end a little loose in the corners, at times I felt like I was driving on an ice rink. 
In the absence of using a name brand, more aggressive tire, I feel there have to be better stock tire options out there that would still keep costs in line for this model. That said, tires are usually the first thing side-by-side -side buyers upgrade. And with such a significant saving over other brands, your wallet will be fat with cash to upgrade to whatever tires you like. This season, we've seen a notable improvement in build quality out of the CF Moto side-by-sides we've evaluated. If CF Moto can maintain this level of quality while continuing to innovate, the company will present a significant threat to the market share of the competition. And the Z-Force 950 Sport provides a value-rich option for buyers in the 60-inch wide pure sport side-by-side -side category.